All right, so I'm going to try something here. Um, if this video doesn't work, then I'm going to scrap it. But basically, I've got this non-stick pan here with all kinds of caked on stuff in there. I probably waited too long for this one before I discovered the way to remove this, but try to, yeah, there's some nasty stuff on the bottom there too, but I basically, at one point when I was working on my other non-stick pan, I read some, a couple different articles, watched a couple different videos on how to remove that stuff from a non-stick pan, and they were saying like, to let, some distilled vinegar sitting there for a little while and another one said put vinegar in there put it on your your stove bring it up to a simmer and then put some baking soda on there I tried that didn't really work that great and then I saw one other article that said just use baking soda and water but then they use like some kind of scrubby like bristle brush on it I don't really have a bristled brush, so I just tried baking soda and water on my other pan, and it worked fantastic. So here I'm basically going to see if I can do the same thing with this pan. Now, like I said, this is, it feels a little bit smooth to the touch, so I don't know if this type of pan is just not that great, except for around here, it's a little sticky, that stuff didn't come off, but I'm going to try just baking soda water and my fingers. Um, I feel like just using my fingers with the pan gave me a little bit more control. I probably don't need too much water. Add more baking soda because you're trying to get something like a good amount of scouring ability. Scour ability. Still not, I want it thicker than that even. This is able to get that brown stuff out of there. I'm going to be thrilled about it because this pan has not been working as a nonstick pan very great recently because, well, of all this crap on here. I put way too much water in here. I'm going to buy more baking soda. There, that's about what I want. I want it to be like really, really cakey on there. This is actually looking like it's getting some of it. I know it's working around the edges there because that stuff was stuck on there from actual oil. Again, I feel like using my fingers for this just kind of gives me more control. I know that by using my fingers, I'm actually getting enough pressure between the baking soda to act as like a scouring agent as compared to like using a brush on there. The baking soda would get in between the bristles and all that stuff. Mostly this side. Well, just kind of going in circles. This is way too. If I, I wish I hadn't added so much damn water because I can see the color of this. It's already, I mean, it's turning brownish color, which lets me know that something's coming up here. Oh, yeah. Just going in a circle, circular motion here. It's going to take to I have to fast forward a little bit through this video, but I can see it's definitely getting some stuff off there. This pan may be usable again as a non stick surface.
I mean, we're talking about, this thing has years of that on it without me doing anything other than putting like a non-scratch pad like, like this thing on there. Instead, now, just my fingers making soda and water. And you wouldn't need near as much as this if you don't add as much water as I did. I just got a little overzealous there and put way too much water so I needed to reverse it with more baking soda. Make sure I get around the edges plenty because when the oil comes up around the edges there it does also cake on there a bit. You'll notice if you have on your nonstick pans like just a sticky film. It's like, why is this supposed to be non-stick? Why has it got a sticky film? It's basically your oil at some point, whatever you're cooking, like went beyond the smoke point of that oil and then just kind of caked onto the pan. Again, not using any vinegar or anything like that. One of the videos I watched, it kind of worked the first time on my other nonstick pan. It was a, a video by an Indian woman. Um, she was, she basically put her nonstick pan on top of the stove and put it around medium or so. And then brought that up to a simmer and then started adding baking soda and then using like a just a wooden spoon and kind of running it lightly along the pan. I did that one time, it kind of worked. I did it another time, didn't work as well as the first time. This way on my other nonstick pan was like a huge success. I can see it's getting a lot up there, but there's still some, I may end up taking just a little bit more elbow grease and patience. I'm kind of running out of that right now. But just want to reiterate that I, th I feel like having your fingers as you're kind of scrubbing utensil, if you will, allows you to get more pressure in between the, uh, the baking soda as the scouring agent and the pan itself. And I feel like at some points where I need to get even more pressure I'm just using my middle finger and my index finger and it's like, it's helping me get a lot of pressure on there. So now, this is, my, this is as far as I'm going to go right now. I'm actually going to I'm gonna try and conserve on my baking soda so I can get the bottom parts of this also on there really well. It's probably going to take more time. I'm not going to spend too long on that part. Let me just even use my whole hand. Yeah, it's really That I might actually use Barkeeper's or uh, yeah, Barkeeper's friend on. I don't want to use that on this nonstick surface because it says you're not supposed to. I think it could be bad for the surface. I'm just gonna wash this off now.
place. This isn't like brand new, obviously. It's a little bit of tint, a little bit of brownish tint still to there, but I might do this on another pan that I have when it gets yeah that's it's better I'll have to see what the before look like again and this isn't my favorite non-stick surface my, my other pan is a oh, what's my other one this dash of that and you can see when I hold it at a certain angle there's like some film on there it's because I cooked on it recently and I didn't do this again but before it actually had like brown caked on oil and this kind of filmy look was even worse after I used the the baking soda on there it looked basically like these these edges over here all the way around the surface so that's my method for removing caked on grease and other things and I'm I'm feeling better about this it's not as good as I wanted to get it. in fact I'm seeing like little spots on there that I may have I don't know if this caused it I'll have to look at the before again but this pan's kind of old. I wouldn't be surprised if those little dots were already there, but it doesn't look as brown as it did before. In fact, it was so smooth I thought it was I thought it was on there for good, but it I don't know if you could tell when I was rubbing it the baking soda through there, that brown color started coming through the white baking soda, so I know it's removing some of that crap. Well, that's all for now on this one.